Hey everybody, the Joyful Yogini here. Welcome to your weekend. I'm doing this um, actually Saturday night. I had an opportunity, I had some time, I thought I'd do it. I kind of got the just woken up hair. <laughs> it was one of those wash and put it up in a bun and then let it out and see what whatever the fuck happens. And this is what happens. So I feel like pulling cards for this weekend from my animal tarot deck. So that is what I'm going to do here. See what we can learn about this energy. I think it's on Tuesday that we have, is it a solar eclipse or a lunar eclipse? We have another eclipse happening on Tuesday. So what is it? I wish I had checked beforehand. I think it's a lunar because <clears throat> it looks like um, we have almost a full moon. So that's got to be just around the corner as well. <clears throat> Maybe that's also happening on Tuesday. I'm going to have to look at this stuff. But let's see what the cards say. Okay, so what messages want to come out for us for this weekend? Okay, so so far we have the Scarlet Macaw. And then there's uh, magpie. We have birds that want to give us messages today. I feel like there might be one more card, one more message, or not. Maybe I should be, okay, I think that one. All right, so the first one, Scarlet Macaw, sharp vision and spiritual perception. So trust your intuition this weekend. If you're getting like a niggling, about needing to do something, then make sure you get it done. Um, if you, if an idea sparks in about, uh, maybe it has to do with relationships, maybe it has to do with finances, maybe it has to do with career, trust that, act on it. There's gonna be a mixture this week of taking action and then allowing your body to chill. Okay, so there's going to be influxes of energy. So listen to that, trust that, work with that energy. So you are having sharp visual perception. And when I also look at the macaw, there's so much red and yellow and a bluey purple. So that bluey purple for me is representing the, the indigo the uh, third eye, so being really connected with your higher self. So listen to those messages, as well as the violet, which is on the top, which is your crown chakra, and that's direct connection, connection to source energy. The yellow is the solar plexus. So that is your confidence, your courage, your willpower. It's time to step in your strength and make those choices that feel best for you. Not because someone else said you should do it, it's because if it feels right for you, then that's when you should do it. And sometimes you need to have that confidence to be able to speak your truth and not do what someone else is saying. And then the red is that groundedness. It is your root chakra. It is the past um, final elements of, I shouldn't say final, but final at this time, at this phase, uh, what you've been working on releasing. Uh, oh, the image that came up the other day for me, it's coming up again. It's scraping the the last of the peanut butter out of the jar. If you're allergic to that, so sorry. You know, scraping whatever. Scraping that sesame seed butter or whatever it is. The final little pieces out of the jar. So it's not that it's super tough. It's not that you have to use major forearm strength to scrape it. It's just, you know, scrape, scrape. So more stuff will be I guess, coming up to be able to be released. It's like you've had certain levels of understanding and it's like the final level of understanding of this lesson, of this pattern. So that is going to be come up. So that's healing the past to step into a brighter 
lighter, happier future? Should you listen? Should you acknowledge those lessons and start making different choices? You can't keep on doing the same thing again and again and getting different results. We need to make different choices. So by having this spiritual understanding and integrating it on that cellular level, fully scraping out that peanut butter, maybe getting your finger in there and just licking it off to get it nice and clean. So having those, that really good understanding. So making choices that are truly for your highest and greatest alignment. So the next one is magpie, proper use of secret knowledge. So you might have a really clear understanding just to the core of your soul. You know what is right for you or you know what is not right for you. Um, but in some instances, there's going to be some information you should just keep to yourself right now because other people might not have that same understanding and there could be judgment and there could be energy being directed at you and your project, your situation, your relationship that is maybe it could create some muckiness for you unless you're super conscious of cutting cords, right? Uh, clearing out that energy field, calling upon Archangel Michael and asking Archangel Michael, we'll ask Archangel Michael right now to clear our energy fields and cut cords with everyone and anyone who it's not for our highest and greatest alignment to be corded with. So you need to cut those cords and protect us with your light so you can picture a ball of light, maybe it's a golden energy, maybe it's Archangel's blue energy, maybe you see something different. So whatever makes you feel safe and uh, whatever resonates with you at this time uh, to be surrounding yourself in that ball of protection. Okay, and the final card is the hanged man, the bat. And I'm saying final card, but I'm gonna sit with that and see if there's because I was drawn to bring a couple more decks, so there might be some other decks coming up for just for a sec. Okay, so the bat, new truths and perceptions. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Someone must be walking by. Sound the alarms. <laughs> okay, guys, enough. Shh, shh, shh. Chewy, shoot, hey, Chewy, come. Come on, it's okay. It's okay. Hey, 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 yeah. enough. Shh. Shh. Stop. Okay, everyone can settle down. Sorry, everybody. Okay, so new tricks and perceptions. Stop. stop. Hey, stop. So the bats, you know, when I think about bats, I think about nighttime. When I think about, about bats, I'm thinking about really good sense of surroundings at night, right? And um, being able to hang upside down too. So I feel as if in the evening and potentially while we're sleeping, maybe through our dreams, we can get additional insights. So pay attention to your dreams or even pay attention at night when you're resting, when you're chilling and the different thoughts that might come in because they could be gems of understanding. And they gave me the word gems for a reason. So now they're saying treasure and they're showing me this uh, beautiful treasure chest with jewels and coins in it. And so the meaning behind this is the increased understanding of what is currently going on in your life, of where the transitions are currently happening within your life. Being able to trust your own inner perceptions, um, being able to sense what is going on around you and what is coming so you can be in that place of trust and that confidence and that groundedness and that courage to be able to move forward even despite not truly seeing everything like when you 
when you think about the bats, like, yeah, they can, they can fly around in the dark, no problem. They don't necessarily have a crisp viewpoint of their surroundings, right? But they can totally get around and maneuver and keep themselves safe. So we're in that place right now and we will continue to increase our clarity of our surroundings as we move forward. As we go through this next uh, eclipse and next full moon, things are falling into place. As long as you have been focused on what you want, focused on what you're creating, not focused on fear or what you don't want to happen. So if you have been consciously focusing, and if you haven't, then start focusing, focusing on just simply uh, the joy of you creating a beautiful future. And you've already started your new beginnings. We've had a really big shift. So we're all in new beginnings right now. And so what are you creating? Focus on what you want, not on what you don't want. And okay, so I'm gonna pull a card for the, from, you can't see it very well, but the effin' badass affirmation deck. Uh, there are swear words in here, warning. So if that bothers you, a card just fell out. Uh, for an affirmation. I didn't look at it yet. I feel like I'm supposed to be pulling one more affirmation. You can see if one or both of them uh, apply for you, if they resonate for you. And if they do, you can think about these affirmations throughout the rest of the weekend. So the first card is, I am so ready to rock this shit. I am so ready to rock this shit. All right, the next card is, I fucking celebrate myself today. Celebrate how far you've come, where you are at right now, what has been presenting right now for you. Who are you surrounded by? Who have you recently met that uh, you're hanging out with or who are you hanging out with right now? What about for work? What's been happening with that for relationships, friendships? What, what what is surrounding you? And if you see awesomeness, then you definitely should be celebrating how far you've come and that you have this awesomeness in your life. So that's pretty awesome. And I am gonna pull one card. This is gonna be the climax to the reading. It's from the Oracle of Unicorns deck. Okay. So trust, trust in your flow. Keep taking action. Don't allow fear to slow you down. Just keep moving forward. And if fears of judgment come up or fears of, is this the right thing to do? Is this crazy? Just let go of that shit, right? We're in new beginnings. We're not in a world that it was before. We're not doing it how you're supposed to be doing it. We're creating it based on who we are. We're mapping out our own individual future. Oh, what a great card. Magic, make a wish, believe in miracles, magic surrounds you. So create a life that will be a masterpiece. Create magnificence based on the beautiful, creative, unique genius that you are. Focus on the amazing creation. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend and a beautiful week. If I have a chance to do a weekly reading, I will do my best. If that doesn't go out on Sunday night, which I might not have time to do, potentially Monday night or, or Tuesday, I'll get it out as soon as I can. So make your wishes, everybody. Have a beautiful rest of your weekend. And hey, if you wanna join me for my power yoga on Sunday, it is 9.15 a.m. Uh, and that's Toronto time. And uh, you can join me over Zoom or if you happen to live locally in Uxbridge, you can uh, join me in my home studio. Um, drop-in is $17 uh, per drop-in. Uh, how many classes have we had? I think we've already had six classes. 
no, sorry, two classes. If you want to join for the next six, um, then there will be a discount as opposed to it being uh, 17. You can do uh, $15 and because uh, I'll, uh, what is it? Make it retroactive with, uh, that's not the right word. <laughs> oh, well, but you know what I mean. Um, and what else, what else, what else? If you're looking for a one-on-one, a one-on-one reading or yoga session, you can let me know. We can do that in person or over Zoom. So from my light to your beautiful, kick-ass, awesome light, namaste. And you go and manifest brilliance in your life. Bye.